Most people don't know this about me, and I haven't told a lot of people this. Well, hey guys, how you doing? It's Logan, and welcome back to the channel where today I have a very special video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Okay, so a little change in scenery today. I'm actually in my room. I haven't filmed the room in a long time, actually. I think it's been like last year since I filmed. I think that was actually my unboxing of this microphone I'm using. You guys like, Logan, tell us what you're doing already. Well, today I'm actually doing a top 25 things about me. I've been seeing these all over YouTube lately. Like people been doing like, hey, top 10 things about me, top 20 facts about me, top 20 things about me. Just random videos like that. I've been getting a lot of views, but doing really, really well on some of my friends' channels as well. So I thought, hey, I might as well give it a try, right? Ow, I really hurt my back. Okay, back to the video. I'm gonna try my best to keep this video under 10 minutes. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but I, like I said, I'm just gonna try. Okay, starting off with number one. You guys may or may not know this, but I actually love photography. Not only did I buy this A7 II just for video and like film and stuff, I actually bought it for photography as well. I've been doing some night shots, some night shooting with some friends, my brother, actually one of my brother's friend and stuff. We've been doing a lot of cool stuff. I've been taking pictures of the Milky Way. It's been absolutely crazy. I'll pop a picture up now if you guys want to see what that looked like from the other night at Table Rock. Most of you know this, I am a very extroverted person. Now, if you don't know what extroverted means, an extrovert is an outgoing or overly expressive person just like me, just like the guy you're watching on camera. I love meeting new people, I'm a very outgoing person and I'm never the type to shut up. I love to talk, I, I always talk. Kinda gets me in trouble sometimes. All right, number three, I breed dogs. Well, I mean, I don't breed dogs, my family breeds dogs. The kennel's outside, but you get what I'm saying. Numero four, okay, I am single. At least as of right now. So, I mean, don't be DMing me on Instagram or anything like that because I, I'm kind of talking to somebody, but yeah. As of right now, I'm single. So, there's that, yeah. I am 5'10! Yeah! I'm not a very tall guy. Uh, my dad's 5'8. Mom's like 4... Not 4... 5'2. My grandpa's 5'10. And um, my uncle's like actually six foot two, so I really don't know how that works out. So this is all kind of in one thing. This is number six. I am 19 years old and I am actually in college. This is my sophomore year. This fall, starting August 28th, which I'm so happy because my brothers start like the 14th and I'm like, yes! I go to the best college ever. It's called the James River College. It's through Evangel University. It's a two year associate in leadership program at my church, which is James River. It's absolutely amazing, it's the best college ever, and I cannot wait to get back. I'm actually just pumped for this fall. Number seven, I am enrolled in the CT practicum at my college, which basically means I'm a nerd. I'm kidding, I am not a nerd. I am in the creative practicum, which means I do film, I do photography, I do videography, cinematography, I edit a bunch of things, sit on my butt at a computer all day, basically is what that means. But it's a lot of fun and I really enjoy it. That's my passion, that's why I started YouTube and it's amazing to see the progress that I have basically came from as soon as I started this year, like, or last year, in my uh, freshman year of college, being like, oh, I know a lot of things, this is absolutely cool, I can't wait to get in here and show people what I'm doing. I get there, I'm like, wow, I suck. And then seeing my progress through the years, well, not through the years, but just through the semester and through the whole year of college, it's absolutely crazy to see how much God's worked through me just to bring me to the point where I am now. I, it's, it's, it's mind blowing to think that. All right, number eight, I love to hammock. Yeah, I love to hammock. I've been hammocking for a while now, actually since about oh, my 11th grade year, so junior year in high school. Me and a couple of my friends with the church camp, we started hammock, it was a lot of fun. They introduced me into it. We got like a little bitty net hammock at first. It broke. But now I got this thing, and it's awesome because I can take it wherever I want in a little bitty pouch. This little thing right here, and it's epic. So I'll leave a link in the description to this hammock because it's absolutely amazing. The weight limit's like 300 pounds, so you and your fan, you and your girlfriend, you and a buddy can hammock in here and do some really cool things. It's really bouncy too, like really bouncy. Number nine for you guys. I am a St. Louis Cardinals fan. I love them. Growing up in Missouri, there's really no other baseball team except, I mean, you got the Royals, but they're like in KC, so. I have some family, some cousins, some uncles, some aunts that live in St. Louis, a little bit like 15 minutes or so from Bush Stadium, so we get to go to the Cardinals games like every once in a while. If I'm being honest, I've only ever been to one, and it was my um, senior trip in high school, yeah. But I still love watching them from home, sitting on the couch, watching with my dad and my grandpa and my brothers. 
It's a lot of fun, and I'm sorry for everyone who isn't a St. Louis Cardinals fan. I'm sorry. This, I mean, why aren't you with the best? Why aren't you with the best team? All right, number ten. I love coffee. I am an avid coffee drinker. But fun fact, I've actually never been to a coffee place, coffee house, like any any coffee place really. So I don't really know how that works out. I'm more of a DIY guy. I make my own coffee at home, which I mean it's not bad because I save a lot of money doing that way. But I mean, I'd love to go to a coffee place sometime with some friends. I just don't. Fun fact number 11. This does not tie in with photography at all, although I still do use a camera. I love videography slash cinematography. This all started like my sophomore year in high school. I got a good phone. I think it was like a 6S at that point, which was, which was a good phone. I started taking some videos and realized, wow, I actually really like this. And then I started my YouTube channel, which kind of is okay. To the point where I'm at now, which is in college and using the Sony's and we use the red cameras in college and stuff for a lot of our video shoots. It's outstanding to see what they do. Like seriously, video is so crazy. Like, we looked at stuff in Hollywood and all the stuff that they use. I mean, they got these big old crane looking monster things holding these cameras following this car going 100 miles an hour. I'm like, wow! It's crazy and it's absolutely outstanding and insane to think about. And that's why I love it because there's always new adventures. There's always that one shot that you have that you know you can make better by doing it this way. Or this little... Let's say a leaf, for example. Oh, I can drop that in front of my lens to make it look like it's fall or leaves are falling, but it's really not. I mean, just little things you can do in photography and videography and stuff to make things more enjoyable for your viewers. I mean, I know I'm saying all this stuff while I'm videoing in my room at my desk with my bed here, but I don't really have a cool set that I could really put up in my house because it's my house and I don't have a set. Number 12, if you guys don't have a favorite ice cream flavor, what are you doing? Like seriously. If I had to say my favorite ice cream flavor of all time, it would be the white cake batter ice cream at Cold Stone Creamery. They know where it's at and they know what the deal is. You take any other ice cream, like my brothers get cotton candy. That's disgusting. It, yeah, it tastes okay, but then it melts and it's like blech. But cake batter ice cream, oh my gosh. You eating the cake, but it's cold. Like, oh my god. Okay, so tying in with the story I just told you guys about my brothers and ice cream flavors. I have two brothers, Owen and Peyton. Peyton is 15, Owen is 8. Owen will be in second grade this fall. Peyton will be a sophomore in high school, which is kind of sad to think about because it's, it makes me feel old. That's graduated in 2018, and I feel like an old brother, even though I am. Okay guys, so number 14, I am a Christian. Yes, I go to James River Church, located in Ozark, Missouri. We have four campuses. The South Campus is I attend. We have the West, the North, and the Joplin Campus, which is outstanding. We're actually getting a new location, going to an old price cutter, which is crazy. Way bigger building, bigger parking lot, more room for God to work. And yes, my college, James River College, is inside of the church campus, James River Church. So it's actually pretty cool if you think about it because I get to be at church all the time. Number 15, I'm pretty sure this is most people out there, but I love the beach. The beach is absolutely crazy. I love it. The sunsets, the view, the sand, the white beaches, the water, except the salt. I don't like the salt, but you get the gist. The beaches are just outstanding. They're lovely to be at. It's great because you get a nice tan when you're there and it's just awesome. All right, number 16 is my favorite restaurant ever, which would have to be Hanode's Japanese Steakhouse. They know what's up. Located in Springfield, Missouri. I don't really know if it's anywhere else in the world. I just know there's a Hanode here in Missouri. I don't know if any other state has one. If it does, awesome. I bet you guys like it too. But that's my favorite restaurant. I would eat there every day if I could, but it's outrageously expensive. So, you kind of can't eat there every day, if you know what I mean. All right, number 17, my favorite food in the world would it have to be a nice, big, like 16 ounce ribeye steak. Talk about juicy, tender, and amazing. Melt in your mouth, medium rare meat. Oh my gosh, people, like seriously. Sorry to all you vegans and like vegetarians out there, but come on, steak is where it's at. Like, oh man. Preferably from Texas Roadhouse. I mean, they know how to cook up a nice steak, and it's 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 amazing. It's like the Lord 
is like, Logan, I want you to have this steak that says your name and you're gonna eat it all. And I do, and I love it. Every, every single bite, every minute. Of it. Okay, number 18. What type of car do I have? Well, that's not really a question. It's supposed to be a fact. So I have a 2016 Toyota Camry Sport. Sport. Um, <laughs> doesn't go that fast, but it's still a lot of fun to drive. And it's really, really roomy. Like, for being like a sedan, you'd think, oh, it's kind of squished and kind of small. But I can fit five people in there pretty, like, with a lot of room. I got three seats in the back. Like one, two, three, not like a split middle. But you know, you know how three seats like in the back are, it's all together. There's a lot of room. I mean, I could fit three grown men back there if I wanted to. I don't want to, but it could. Okay, number 19. I am a very stylish person. Well, I try to be. I mean, not this outfit right now. Like I stood up earlier and showed you I have like some blue shorts on with an orange shirt. I mean, as of right now, you guys don't really need to see what's below my upper body. Like you guys don't need to care about that. You just need to know what's above, up, like up here, like above, above the, yeah. So I'm wearing Nike. I love Nike. It's a great brand. I usually wear like American Eagle or Hollister or something like that. I don't usually wear Air Apostle that much. Um, actually, I have in a long time. But I just, I like being stylish. I, f I like feeling, feeling fresh. I don't like feeling like bleh. Like, you know, you wear something that's got like holes in it, but most of my clothes have holes in them. You know what I mean. I can't explain what not stylish is because everyone has their own style. But me, I just, I like looking fresh. That's a better word and that's the word I probably should have used. Okay, so number 20, I can backflip. So, number 21, I work at, you guessed it, the Golden Arches, McDonald's. I work there for my dad. So it's kind of cool having your dad as your boss, although he expects higher expectations of you. My dad has been working for McDonald's for 27 years. I've been working there for four years. My dad is actually the director of operations. So the operators, which are Chip and Teresa McGinn, they own 19 stores. My dad basically does their job for them, so they don't have to. He watches over every store, all 19 of them, while I am planted at one store, which is Marshfield, Missouri. I've been working there for roughly a month and I've been working all together for McDonald's for four and a half years, almost five years. Okay, number 22, my favorite sport is baseball. I'm a very athletic person, so I can play pretty much any sport. I like basketball, I like golf, I like other sports, but baseball is probably my all time favorite. I can play that all day. If my coach looked at me, it's like, Logan, I want you to come back one day, play one game with us out of your old high school baseball team. I'm like, yes, are you joking? Who would not do that? I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone would with their favorite sport, like me. Favorite sport, baseball. I would play it in a heartbeat if I could. Okay, so number 23. Some people call me weird for this, but I don't. I think it's awesome. My favorite dessert is cheesecake. I love any cheesecake, but specifically the plain vanilla. I can't talk today, my English is gone. But yeah, plain vanilla cheesecake. The best cheesecake there is. You get some of them cherries, you put them on top with some strawberries. So good. Number two, four. Number 24, I get scared very easily. I'm a relatively tough guy, but <laughs> you corner me, in a dark room, I'm gonna be freaked out. If I'm walking around a corner near there and you're gonna jump out and scare me, you're gonna get punched in the face because I get scared way too easily. So people who are my friends don't get any good ideas about this. When you scare me and I get scared enough, I'm gonna throw up some fists, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw one at you. I mean, that's just what's gonna happen. So people from college, you're watching this video and you're like, hey, I know what we can do. We're gonna scare Logan when he comes back. Don't scare me, okay? I know you sleep, I know you live. Number 25, we're gonna end this off with a bang. Most people don't know this about me. And I haven't told a lot of people this. In the third grade, when I was eight years old, I cut my pinky toe clean off my foot. Yeah, it hurt a lot. I was swinging my foot in my mom's bedroom, watching, I think I was watching like the, the second Shrek or something like that, and just boom, kicked the side of the corner of mom's bed, just chopped it right off. It wasn't a cut, so it was more of a tear. So I tore my pinky toe off my foot. It hurt a lot. It didn't hurt until I saw, I don't have a pinky toe anymore, and it was gone. But for all you guys who are still wondering, like, oh my gosh, does he have a pinky toe? I have my pinky toe. It's right there on my foot. Doctors sewed it back on, and it's, it still works, still moves, it's great. Um, although, I don't really have a lot of feeling in it, so if I ever like stub it, it doesn't hurt. But where I tore it off, like where they stitched it back, it literally feels like that's getting ripped again. So it's always scary when I hit it because my toe doesn't hurt. It's just 
little the webbing in the middle that feels like I'm ripping it off again. Okay, and that is 25 facts about Logan Bryant. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It honestly took me a long time to plan these out. I'm like, oh, hold up. <laughs> I had to write these down because I just can't look at my camera and think off the top of my head, hey, what's 25 interesting facts about me? I can't do that. So if you did enjoy this video, why not go ahead and give this video a big fat thumbs up, smash me a like, come on, do it, please. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, also turn on post notifications to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And without any further ado, this is Logan, I'm signing off, until next week, peace out guys.